GTA 3 was released October 22nd, 2001. And it's kind of interesting because it was the first game to really allow open world simulators where you could go and commit crimes and just do everything that you're not supposed to do in real you know, life and society. You could go do it all in a video game. They had cars, you know, you could do shoot stuff. It was just a really fun game. And at the time, this was groundbreaking. And it really inspired a lot of other people to develop games. And it, like, shone a light on what's possible. Because probably a lot of people, like, there was bad... There was uh, people that were, like, really mad about this. You know what I mean? And I think at one point, which GTA... I think it was GTA 5... They actually paid people to write bad reviews. Oh, wow. Like, because they wanted that, that negative reputation. Hmm. But I don't know for GTA 3, but I want to see, like, how was it received at the time? You know, because I kind of yeah. wonder. Received multiple nominations and awards from gaming publications wow. of GTA 3. Inside of here, we can see all the code. We can actually see when the last time someone added to GTA 3. So it was actually in 2022, someone added, looks like they're mostly just updating the readme. So not anything cool. Oh, but there was some, some fix, fix pet comments. <laughs> what is that? Um... Interesting. They just added like a few brackets. Don't know what the importance of that is. Fix reflection counter. Oh, so somebody changed the reflection counter from doing, um, you know, an addition equal. So before they were just saying add it. They were adding this value on the left, the MN counter, to I plus one with eight. Well, they added old counter, and then see old counters on line 726. Oh, and then they added, oh, I didn't see that, yeah. So that's a uh, integer, UN32, old counter. Oh, is this just the same thing? Who knows? Look, no, it's the same thing. So what they did is they moved this. Instead of doing plus equals, maybe they thought that plus equals was... They didn't like it. That's a Ruby thing. I like. So instead of doing plus equals, they did equals this plus. Right. Dude, so I they think they the kinda like is better. Moving it was to actually define it as a U int instead of a... Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Or instead of like, maybe they need to define the type of it. Because right now they're just calling it... Almost like dynamically Dude, you know like... what? I bet. I bet somebody, maybe e either that was their ticket was to go through... And to, yeah. like, make everything units, like, add yeah. more code to it so it's, like, more static. But, uh, but then we like come from a Ruby program. background, so we kind of, like, dynamic programming. Yeah, in Ruby, you just kind of... So it looks like a down improvement for us if we had to read this code. Whatever, you know. But I mean, it's okay. they get to specify it as uint. Yeah, that's cool. And then they get to also clarify that's the old counter. Yeah, it's true. <clears throat> uh, so it's more readable for... Yeah. Someone new, but plus equals pretty readable for me. Yeah. Let's see what else was added. Audio, small refactoring. So what do they do here? Interesting. Again, it's like the same kind of thing, like they're doing a constant. No, I mean there's some differences. So up here it looks like they changed it to size of U in thirty two. And they used to have Instead of num, what did this used to be? Num. Can we find that? All those constants in their upcase like that, maybe. Where are we defining this? Doesn't tell me, so I guess they never deleted it from where else it was in the code. So they changed it from a, a method that passes in the U into C. It seems like that was the improvement they were trying to tackle Size in this of. ticket, was like a lot of U in stuff. Whatever that means. What is that? It's almost chat? like. No, just the Xbox notification oh, okay. button I turn off. Let's look at this. Static const uint8. One shot priority. 
one shot is like almost like a like a sound effect. Did they did they change the actual numbers in there? Yeah, no, it looks pretty. Well, I guess the they same. just moved it. So they moved oh. it from inside of here and they moved it outside. So what do you think that's going one shot? One what shot does party. that go to? You think? Oh, we can look at it. Where does this go? Where is it used? Oh, I guess they don't. Yeah, like show why it. did they use a bunch of just like like three 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 what? Five yeah. two two one. Like why did? What does that do go to? Some randomized code that just randomized that. that well, I think the priority. This almost is important for some reason. Like and let's say like these are think, IDs of records. Do you think that's of different how sound effects? It is? Like the difficulty level when they start, it's like three three three, and then it. <laughs> well, think about the name one shot priority. I think one shot for me is like a sound effect. Yeah, one shot. That's how I, because I have kits of sound, like, oh, when so, I'm cooking beats, okay, they so, call it one shots. But priority, bro. Maybe the that's priority, like, so it's like the listing of, like, like, when to play the sound effect. That's what I'm kind of thinking. Do you think it's a sound effect? I think it's like, does your... Because you know when the pedestal... So like, in the, this game... The people in GTA, they make different noises when you punch them. <laughs> so, <laughs> if you like, shot, sound effect one, you punch them ten times, and then it says, like, another one okay. for a few times. It could be. Let's find out. What is, what, let's <laughs> find the answer to this. Let's go to the next part. So right down here we have the old code was a ray size entity M audio event. Okay. And they replaced it with num audio entity events. Didn't we set that? Oh we so we took it from here and we put it down here. Whoa. So that's so, kind of so why the, would they do that? Well they're comparing it down there on line two sixty three. Yeah. To the to audio, audio events. events. So you're right, these are audio things. But they switched it from look and uh, they switched it to size of, but what does this do? They're trying to figure that out. So, so why would they, they switch from it. num audio and they put it down here? <clears throat> we don't know if that's size of, but what is mo? Bro, I think it might be way more simple. I think literally mem move. I think that what we're saying here, size of, is literally <laughs> saying like count over this const <laughs> that they made called u and eight, which means something to them maybe in their game. And no, so, dude, UN, UINT is, you know how it's a static language? Yeah. You have to say the type of variable it is. Okay, so, so what, is, UNT, what type is that? I just want to do a little bit more code review. All right, cool, cool. Let's dig into some classes and see what we can find. Yeah, how did they... What does C make? Code warrior. Oh, yeah, was that something? Well, you could... If you, like, dig in here... Game files, res images. Source. Here we go. So this is source code. Animation. Let's go into animation class. Yeah, man, that's pretty cool stuff. Let's see. Anim land associ. So it looks like up at the top, they have some commands which they're sending some stuff. They're including a few different files. They're including a general class and a few different helper or a few different classes for this. What's funny to me is that in C, right? That's what language we're looking at. That they use the hashtag as is it C? like what language? It's easy. Plus, look, you, you use the hashtag for like include for magic or stuff. If or yeah. L statements. Or like, it's this isn't even Dude. a comment for them. This is just but, how but you say in, like in Ruby, hashtag bro, include. In Ruby, if you they were before hashtag... the trends, like Instagram. Think about it. This is how Instagram was. They almost are like the millennial language. Hashtag this, hashtag that. Well, that's funny. But they're more like twenty thirteen hashtag because nobody when, hashtags. I wonder when was hashtag added. So interesting. So so also for including other files, they do, the pound. And then it looks like they have this capital C thing. That if it's not a hashtag, then if you use capital C, that's like, okay. That does something. That's like, this is the C language, therefore, like, anything else you do, if you, like, capitalize. You just start it with a C? Them, it's like, it's practically looks a lot like Ruby, though. Interesting. But then there's ones that aren't, you know. Well, I think C string, just bro. might be like. STR, it's a string, so they string. definitely must have, like a, like, a type thing that you can use STR, capital C, hashtag. And you have to put it right together. Yeah. See, that's kind of gross. But they, Coming from are, Ruby. Bro, these are groups. Look, it's the C group thing. So they're, they're all like class yeah. things. Yeah. I know, but this is kind of gross because in Ruby, you have spaces between them. <laughs> 
you know, we like you put well, a space. I bet you that means it's a class, dude, because in Ruby we say class, yeah. space. But C++ is all about conservative and being more efficient, saving memory. That's why they don't do spaces. Well, Ruby is, is all about... <laughs> it's like, a, it's like one of those, happiness. like, pod... Dude, it's about programmer <laughs> happiness. It's about when you look at the code, it should yeah. make you happy. I don't know. Even if it takes a little bit longer to add the spaces in, we want to be able to tell that the C means that it's a class. But now we can realize that. It's just kind of interesting. Is and then what is the get? That's like a get thing, I guess. Get model from name. Is that not just a class? Well, maybe that's just oh, C-based like model custom, info. Custom method they're creating. All right. That's kind of cool, you know. Somebody thought that that's a good way to do it. Yeah, someone's idea. Just so we don't get confused. I mean, we're not hating on your idea. <laughs> Wait, how many But think about it. Of, if you use whoa, whoa, C and then C++. Dude, plus look plus at the indentation, though. And then C indentation sharp. Indentation is like, how many indents are That's like 100. Someone's like, in my language, yeah. we're going to do like freaking that many. How many tabs? Okay, really so we can keep looking. Oh, they have a float for current time. So I guess like float is maybe, you know, what do you think a float means? A float is like a decimal. Isn't it? Yeah, decimal point. What's the cap? What's the capacity of a float? And that makes sense for a current time because time doesn't have that many digits. What about a void? What's a void? Void. That's a good point. I see those a lot in void. Is that like a, a value that can be nil by default? I almost, I feel like this would kind of make sense if it's the same thing as like yield. Well, callback argument, like it looks like, like it's looking for Yield something. in Ruby, bro. You know how yield works? You like uh, yield the thing. That's kind of what it looks like to me. All right, let's and then see it it's like over what here. It? That's, that's fine. So what if we use it as a... Okay, so... So is that in your opinion like a yield? No. This is saying, like, this has no value, but we're still going to run the code. All right, so for reference, what's a yield to you? A yield? A yield is, like, you're going to, well, like, like... A yield is how you pass something into the block. Okay. That's what a yield is. Yeah. So, like, you, let's say you do a block, I'm and thinking then, in Rails, they have yield for, like... That's what I'm saying. In, in Ruby... In Rails, they have the yield in the in the main in the application file. Right, right in the application, and then it just and it yields from the block, that's like in the Rails. Okay. But you can also use yield in Ruby. Do you want to see it right now? Yeah. Or I'll show you yield right for you now, because right. we have that skill. So open up the terminal. We'll go into the IRB. Oops. Wait, IRB capital works? We just discovered Easter egg. I didn't even type it lowercase. So inside of here, we're going to show what yield it does. So we can define a method that says, or let's say a method greet, right? Mm -hmm. And this is going to accept a block. Oh, wait, no. We don't need to do that because we're going to use yield. So that's the point of yield. All right. Right. So inside of, shoot, we need to redefine it. So inside of greet, you say hello plus yield, right? <clears throat> and then you say greet, and you pass in a block. And you say world. See? So Dude, do you get what yield does? Bro, it yields totally the block. I mean, because normally what you would do is you would write yeah. def greet, and then you'd expect to pass in something. Mm -hmm. and so then you do you yield. Can... And then we could just do a block. So it's like the same we could do it with the do. And then pass worlds. Greet do world. <laughs> and then see. Greet do world. This hello world. So it's like an alternative of greet with a parameter. You know, would be yeah. name or something. Like hello plus name. And if we call greet without anything, and then even if we pass, let's try to do the same block. That also doesn't work. So the only way to get it to work is to pass in a parameter. So in that way, it's definitely different than a uh, void. Because a void doesn't... A void never returns anything. It's totally, completely different. Yeah, yeah yielding is pretty sweet. Dude, that's sick. And dude, we should actually review the rail source code next. <laughs> yeah, that's a good idea. Let's see. 
Bool is running. <laughs> Do you think that's something about like in the game running? I don't think well, it is. Bool is obviously a true false boolean. Yeah. Is so running is like is, is the is running process boolean. running or something. And so especially they're they're not expecting a return anything. They're just asking the question, return that. All right, you're going to look around somewhere else. So I, I love how you can see what is dot H extension. Yeah, what is dot H? I feel like that's also a class. Yeah, I feel like the dot H is usually where they define the bigger well, it's classes. Definitely look, it's different. C it's different because plus. here they do the class. In the other one, they, they did like the C. Okay. They had a different way of so defining let's look it. Up what is dot H mean? I feel like, honestly, the difference here, because check it out. We go in CPP, and there's just a bunch of stuff going on. There's not just one thing. But when we go in dot .h, it's actually like, if you go in a model, you know what I mean? We have like the main class. Oh, yeah, maybe it's like a model. That's kind of what I'm thinking. So like, see, it has this, also it has the same name. That's the other thing yeah, I'm thinking yeah. with like connects. So it's, so it's, so it's almost like a model. Together. Yeah. They have all these different things, which maybe like they have methods on it that go to different functions. Look at this enum, a soch group ID. Wait, look at all these. Busy Old woman, fat. sexy woman. Huh. That's panic funny, chunky. Bro. So what is this? Anim Dude, manager. That's, that's these are the different animation the states. Characters. These are the different no, characters. Those are the characters. Player two armed. And Player so one rocket. It it enums through the list and it's like And it chooses the and characters. It selects different things. Wait, so stuff. these are this is the whole entire list of NPCs in GTA 3. I pretty think much so, yeah. This is Panic the whole Chunky, list. Fat Panic woman, Chunky. Fat Woman. Can we look at that? What's Panic dude, Chunky? Dude, let's go check all this stuff out. That's hilarious. <laughs> rocket right, rocket left. These are the player PC player controls. Yeah. And they have animations player back, for these. Player left. So what's happening inside of here? And then there's just some main like methods on the model. But this is very interesting, the enum, a social group ID. Let's go and yeah, search this. Yeah, I bet this. you can find the files, actually the pictures and the code. So this is referenced in 11 files. So in the anim viewer class, we're using it to play an animation. That makes sense. So we have C anim viewer initialize void which means it doesn't accept any parameters since we learned that yeah and there's just a lot of stuff happening 